everyone, Tony Winston here at Jazz Piano College, uh, doing a follow-up video to uh, video number nine, Fly Me to Your Room, uh, Tritone Substitution. It's going to cover the other five songs. So uh, let's start with Autumn Leaves. You know, what I was doing there is similar to what I did in uh, Fly Me to the Moon in that the first chord A minor here, we imagine in our mind that it's an A7, and we do the tritone substitution, E flat 7 going to D7. And you know, we can do the same thing here. Uh, think of that as a dominant chord, then do the tritone substitution. And of course, the easiest way to think about this is, is just the, a half step above where you're going. All right, going to D, so half step above. Going to C, so half step above. Right? But there's another way now, too. You can think of this. Uh, all right, we're going to D7. What's the tritone sub? A flat. All right. All right, now here, we've got a major chord. So, um, and we're going to a C major seventh. So, no tritone sub there. All right, and we're going to B7. So, F7. And, you know, the reason this works, you know, very simply, of course, is the third and the seventh of, of B become the seventh and the third of F. And, of course, these are sometimes referred to as guide tones because they really tell you what kind of chord you have, right? If, if you have a major seventh chord, the three and the seven are telling you because the five is, you know, just kind of a harmonic of C. If it's a minor seven, you know, it's the third and the seventh. Dominant seventh, it's the third and the seventh, okay? All right, let's go to the bridge. So, should I, should I try F? Well, and I'll, I'll cover this again in another song, but if the fifth is the melody, the tritone substitution gives you, you know, a pretty harsh uh, dissonance there. You know, it's just a dominant seventh with a flat nine, which is a very common chord. But when the, mel when the top note is the uh, flat nine, it can lead to some problems. Now, if you make the chord a little bigger, like that, then it works a little bit better. You know, this little short thing here is, is not working. So we won't use it there. Once again, it's like thinking of it as a dominant seventh chord doing the tritone and just thinking a half step above where we're going. And once again, you know that it, uh, it's just a little rough, so why not just keep it the way it is? All right, now here's a spot. Depending on what chart you have, uh, sometimes it's written E minor, and then E flat, uh, like that, then D minor, and then D flat. And other charts will have, you know, the tritone sub of the tritone sub, which gets us back to where we were originally. Right. And you can see that's just a three, six, two, five in C. All right, let's go over some of the other songs. Let's do uh, Blue Bossa. All right, we can change that to a dominant seventh to get the F minor, okay? So we can use the tritone. All right, and notice here that, uh, you know, the root becomes the flat five, and that is a pretty nice sound there, so no problem there. We were going to G7, right? Uh, but the melody note just gives us such a nice sound there on the half step above. So, you know, I'm thinking D uh, minor 7 flat 5. Thinking of, you know, the uh, tritone away from that. Now, you can't do it on a minor 7 flat 5 chord officially, 
Uh, but if you change it to a seventh, then you can make it a flat seventh. And so you could do it like that. Let's make it a flat seventh. sub for the G. Right. Sub for the A flat. Uh, what else we got? Oh, yes. Uh, all of me. Here's our first dominant seventh chord. And when the fifth, I think I said this before, when the fifth is the melody, the tritone substitution is dangerous. All right, gives you that flat nine. If you make the chord a little bit bigger, it might work, but you know, most of the time it's just not a good choice. Now there it might work, so let's try it. Because we've got two measures of each chord here, we can do the original chord and the tritone sub. What do you need? So in the next measure, we've got E7. And, you know, when the melody notes the octave, or, you know, the root, uh, you know, the tritone sub really will add a lot of color because that gives you the flat five, or the sharp 11, whatever you want to call it. But with that E triad in the melody, maybe not the best choice. Eventually, you know, you might start thinking about, you know, on the original chord, what is the melody note and will the tritone sub work? Usually just think about, you know, the notes that don't work. And I know that the fifth doesn't work. So if it's an A and I just go to A flat, you know, it can work, but it's, it's, it's risky. All right. So, so what do we got here? I've got a good note there, so it gives me the sharp nine if I go uh, tritone away. But then, you know, I end up back here on that flat nine. And if it's the third, it just gives you the seventh, of course. All right, let's think, what else we got in this list here? Uh, we got uh, Satan Doll. <laughs> one of my students called it that one day. It just cracked me up. <laughs> All right, so tritone sub is going to work great here, but it could. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of works there, but you know, it's a it's a weird jump to there. Kind of doesn't work. Kind of does. Kind of doesn't. There could work because you're you're getting to that uh, whatever that note is. The, I call it the flat 13, but it seems like uh, the general consensus out there these days is to call it the sharp five. Uh, and then you can write the little plus sign if you want to. All right, now this is interesting. Right here we get... All right, so the D flat is like a tritone sub, you know, because we're going to C. So we could think about using a G, and then for the chord before it, now remember, originally it was A flat to D flat. So if we use G for the D flat, then we could go, you know, have a D to a G, and see, that's just a two, five, one, right? So we've got. Now, 
It should be a minor chord, but you know that note doesn't fit on a minor chord not very well, so we could just change it to a dominant chord and say, what the heck? And then go to the G or the D flat. Right? So, of course, the original change here is probably the best one to go with, but I'm just showing you the possibilities. A 2-5, and another 2-5. And, you know, in the, if you th think about what the basic harmony is, that's probably it. You know, this was a clever, uh, you know, tritone sub. It was not only a tritone sub, but it had the, the, uh, the two chord, you know, the, uh, the relative two chord to that tritone sub, right? D flat, if you're thinking of a two, five, one, two, five, one, goes either way. All right, let's see, too much analysis. Let's get on to, uh, what else do I got in that list? Autumn leaves, all of me, oh, A train. So if the melody is the flat five, this is kind of the reverse of what we said before. Uh, if it is the flat five, it's going to end up being the root of the tritone sub. So, you know, it's better as the original, but this is a possibility. Put the, put the flat five in there, and then and we could use D flat here. And the original has the flat five there. Bridge. Uh, uh -uh. Just doesn't work. All right, the bridge of Satin Doll. Right there, it's the fifth, but it's moving quickly through some nice notes. I just played the chord a little late, so I so I didn't hit that one. You know, you know, you you know why. train and satan doll yeah i guess i covered them all okay uh there you go and thank you i've gotten some great support lately over on patreon and through paypal i cannot thank you enough uh for the kind and generous people out there and so have a great uh, weekend and i will see you back here again very soon thank you